Alright YouTube, this is a video about this Kato KA-210 pocket radio. Alright, here's a closer shot. It has AM, FM, and weather band. And on Amazon it's like $18. It's a very good radio. I mean, yeah, you're not going to be able to DX on it, but honestly... The purpose of this radio is to, you know, like, just listen to it. Like, listen to local stations or listen to the weather robots. And, I mean, it's a good radio to use as, like, a throwaway radio. Like, you know, like, if you're walking with it or if you're mowing the lawn with it. And you don't care if it gets broken or dirty because it's so cheap. I mean, normally I wouldn't carry a radio like this, but I mean, I just felt compelled to buy a pocket radio so I could start doing reviews on these. Like, these radios have many great uses. I mean, you could easily put them in a go bag. You can, like, for example, like, listen to the sports game at the stadium with this. Like, if you can't really hear the announcers, if you're in, like, a nosebleed seats. Like, this is the kind, this, this radio is just very useful. The reception on it is actually excellent. Like, I mean, AM's not too good, but it does pick up the local stuff. And it picks up the 50,000 watt powerhouses at night. But you're not going to do any hardcore DXing on it. Like, you're not going to pick up, like, Mexico City or California or, you know, or Europe from New Jersey on this. You're not. It's not sensitive or selective enough. The FM is good. It picks up all the local stations with some distant stations in between. I mean, what, what do you want for a $20, actually less than $20 radio? Like, you're, you're not going to get a DXer. But for casual listening, this thing this thing fits the bill nicely. And like I said, this is the perfect radio if you're like a you know survivalist, everyday carry prepper person. It takes two AA batteries, which is very good for a device like this. That's actually pretty low drain for radio. I don't know how long it'll last, but. I'm assuming it'll it will last, I don't know, like days and days and weeks maybe. If you listen to it for like two hours a day, I think it'll actually last a very long time. Like Yeah, this is an excellent radio for the money. Alright, so let's look around the radio. Alright, so this is the front as you've been seeing for the last three minutes. All right, the, the 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 knob on the I meant the on the bot on here. This is the volume knob. This is the tuning knob. The back, the information it tells you is the weather signals, channels one through seven on the middle weather band. That thing hanging off here, that's a wrist strap. I don't really use them, but some people like them. Oh, this side, earphone jack and band selector switch. FM, AM, NOAA weather band. So, yeah. I'm going to do a quick demonstration on how this thing sounds. It's, it's not going to sound that good. Because it's a, it's kind of like a transistor radio, but and I'm not going to play stuff for too long because of YouTube copyright. I'm on FM now. The tuning is pretty touchy on this. Uh, 
Switch to AM. It's going to be very noisy because the computer is right in front of me. Local blowtorch 1210. Wow. This does pick up the blow torches nicely. And now this message, learn how an insurance company will be back to this committee today, calling Hubble to keep the list. Alright, this is Noah Weather Radio. Alright, so there you have a quick demonstration of the Kato KA210. Like if you're in the market for a, a cheap portable pocket radio, this radio will definitely fit the bill. For less than twenty dollars, there's no complaining here. So yeah. Well, I do recommend it. Alright guys, this is Emart signing on again with another video. Thanks for watching.